Hi guys, this is Sandra. Hello, this is Claudia of the Alexandrite system. I'm here today to talk about self-harm and how it affects DID and OSDD and vice versa. And I'm here today to talk about my self-harm. I'm going to put a trigger warning up front here. We are going to be talking about self-harm. There is not going to be too many graphic descriptions of it or any images. But if just listening to somebody talk about self-harm is going to be triggering for you, please do not feel like you have to watch this video. Self-harm is a really embarrassing thing to talk about because I don't like to be pitied. And I feel that when people know that you've been self-harming, they do one of two things. They either, like, get you serious help or they pity you. And most of the time they do both. Those of you with really sharp eyes may have noticed in the last couple of videos that we shot as of time of recording, so I think both of DICE's videos, that we have a mark on this hand about there. That's from me. So I have a tendency to emotionally or mentally self-harm. When I get stressed, I punch things. It took me a long time to even admit that I was self-harming, but I have a history of watching things, reading things, looking at things that I know will be triggering for me, and doing it anyway. I used to go into the turf tags on Tumblr and read all of the posts on there, but since then I've blocked a lot of those terms so that I can't look at it. But it's also come in other forms. Things like watching media and reading media with graphic depictions of abuse, looking through the social media of people who have hurt us, and in general just trying to make myself upset. It's never to intimidate anyone. It's never because I want to destroy something of somebody else's. I don't know why I do it. Exactly. I think the reason I do it is when I get really upset and I don't have a reason for it, I think I'm subconsciously seeking out a reason to be upset to justify it to myself. I used to justify it saying that it was a stim, a self-destructive stim. I never put up any pretense about that, but I still said it was a stim. And in some ways, self-harm is just sort of a stim, but I can't hide behind that forever. Oftentimes, while I'm doing this, the others will be close by in the headspace, and they'll be saying, you shouldn't be doing this, it's making you upset, why are you doing this? And most of the time, I ignore them, and I'm sorry for that. As of recording, it's been... I think over 10 days now since I last self-harmed. Previous to that, I went nearly a month. It's not something I struggle with every day, but it's something I struggle with when things get hard. And when things get hardest for me is when people expect a lot from me. Most frequently, it'll happen at work where I'm being pulled in 10 different directions at once, and I'm the only one fronting, and it's a lot of pressure, and I can't handle that. And it takes a lot for me to, to say that I can't handle it. There have been a few times where I've had to have the front forcibly taken from me so that I would stop, and even more often we've gotten into some big system fights about this sort of thing. About two months ago, our spouse and I decided that we wanted to watch uh, the movie Hereditary, which, if you don't know, is a fairly disturbing horror movie. I didn't know how disturbing going in, but about an hour in, it gets brutal. And when that happened, I kind of checked out, but I didn't want to turn the movie off. And our spouse could tell this, and they offered to, to turn it off if any of us needed it. And Claudia was screaming inside, turn it off, turn it off. And I didn't listen. It's hard to stop. 
it's such a quick release of all of that emotion. In less than one second, I feel better. But then almost immediately, I feel worse. Because then I feel stupid for having done it, and I feel like I'm letting myself down, I'm letting the rest of the system down, I'm letting our spouse down and our therapist down, even though we haven't talked about self-harm with this one yet, really. I think the first step to fixing a problem is admitting that you have the problem. So I'll say it now, I have a problem. And I want to get better. I want all of us to get better. I have an app that I'm going to try and use when this comes up, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work because oftentimes my episodes are less than 10 seconds. 10 seconds between the initial urge to self-harm and actually doing it. I know that the secret is to expand the time between the two points, between wanting to self-harm and self-harming, and eventually getting to a point where it's only one point, wanting to self-harm, and never actually doing it. Honestly, Glow is sort of a role model for me in this aspect, because she used to self-harm back when we were in an abusive relationship, and she has stopped completely. She hasn't self-harmed in eight years, I think now, and I'm really proud of her for that. It's not an easy thing to do. I want to get better. And if any of you out there have issues with self-harm, I really advise that you seek help if you can. It's not easy, but you can recover. I think when you have DID, OSDD, it can be especially hard to stop. Especially if, as a system, you decide to stop self-harming entirely, because I can stop myself, but I can't stop Sandra from self-harming. So I can be in the headspace yelling, turn this off, whatever triggering media she's watching, but that won't always stop her, and I'm not always able to take front or nobody's able to take front sometimes from her. The problem with DID and OSDD is when you have headmates who also self-harm, it becomes a pot killing the kettle black kind of thing, which is what we have going on now. Claudia tells me I shouldn't be self-harming, and I tell her that she shouldn't be self-harming, and we're both unwilling to fix our own shit, but very concerned with the other person's shit. And it's the same for me. We can power push each other as much as we want, but you don't win every power push. I don't know what to say here. I don't know what else to say. I want to get better, and Sandra, I want you to get better too. I want us to get better, Claudia. Can we try together?